Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarander. And uh, today I have a very, very weird episode to actually talk about. Uh, obviously, you guys know me as a Smogon player, and while I do help out in the VGCs in Sweden, I don't necessarily think VGCs are uh, the competitive format I am looking for. Mind you guys, that I don't care about the people who are playing VGCs. If anything, I do enjoy the people who are in it, and, uh, you know, honestly, it's, it's all fun and games. But the new rule sets, which I'm pretty sure everybody has been hear or hearing about, is um, it's weird and it's definitely a step in the wrong direction. If you ask me, of course, um, mostly because it now pretty much neglects everything built upon until this point. The reason I say this is because we actually have led, or actually say, um, oh, what well, mascot legendaries are now allowed in um, the VGCs. Which means mons like uh, Sekrom, or actually just go down to the list and see which ones are allowed. Um, Mewtwo, Lugia, ho -Oh, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Reshiram, Zekrom, Kyurem, Zenis, Jolodal, and Zygar are now allowed in the VGCs. So like I said, mascot legendaries. Uh, so obviously the event legendaries like Meloetta, Shaman, uh, Keldeo are not not to be seen, even Celebi is not allowed, uh, I think even Mew is not allowed, so uh, it's still, it's kind of those weird thing because they are definitely not as strong as the mascot legendaries, but you know, whatever. Um, so from the 1st of uh, 2016, we're going to see these guys hit it off. Um, they made some uh, strategies, you know, perks and not whatnot. And yeah, just basically, this is the first time they've been introduced in the VGCs or in actually, it wasn't doubles back in uh, 2010, but uh, there, <laughs> well, in singles 2010, uh, Legendaries was actually uh, available. I do believe that was Dialga, um, Dialga, Polkia, and um, Giratina's um, um, generation, generation four. After that, we got doubles and. Uh, Legendary was banned from the VGCs, which actually made sense since obviously there was a very strict restriction of which Pokemon that were viable and whatnot. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on it. I do kind of um, like I could explain a few things. Like I said, all battles have to be double battles. Uh, you have to have a Noras card to actually be able to uh, battle. Um, the time limit for battles <laughs> will vary by the event. But uh, as most championships are, the 15 minute limit and 45 second timer and 90 second team preview, pretty much the usual stuff. It hasn't changed really. Uh, Pokemon Rock by Pocket Transform is not permitted. You have to have a Pentagon to, to actually be able to battle, uh, which could be, for example, event moves or Lugia with um, was a Psy Boost, um, that 130 overheat like move. Um, is not available from uh, Pokemon XT, uh, so that's a thing. Um, let's see, all Discover Pokemon will not be allowed except for Fallen Mystical Pokemon. Um, Mew, Selby, Yorashi, Deoxys, Fiona, Manaphy for some reason, Darkrai, Shaman, Arceus, Victini, Keldeo, Meloetta, Genesect, and Deontian Hoopa. So, that's weird, let's just deal with it. Um, teams may have no more than two Fallen Pokemon are Mewtwo, Lugia, Ho, Kyogre, Groudon, Rokoisa, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Reshiram, Sekrom, Kyurem, Exernia, Sildhal, and Zygarde. And all items will be allowed except for Soldu. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much a conventional stuff. Um, the thing that is going to be a big deal here is, or rather, I should say this before actually even talking about rest, uh, Rayquaza. Major issue, uh, obviously not because of the Delta Stream, because it can Mega Evolves um, without a Mega Zone, right? Everybody knows that. So that Pokemon is going to be a part of the team all the time. And the second ones are always going to be Groudon or um, Kyogre. Why? Because their primal forms don't require a Mega Stone. You can use only two legendaries in every battle. Uh, these three seems to be the one they search upon. So the Ho and the Mascots are going to be a big deal. Now, I do know that Groudon and Kyogre's new ability are neglecting Rayquaza's ability and so on and so forth before on switching where actually Delta Stream takes away their form, my bad. So that's obviously a response here one could make. But outside of that, you know, the more I think about it, the, the weirder it gets. Because 
I can't see any team surviving uh, a Dragon Dance Rayquaza. One Dragon Dance and that's pretty much GG because there is no Icicle Response Rayquaza. There is no one hit KO for it. It's naturally bulky. Delta Stream neglects its issue with Rock and of course Ice like I said there. Uh, so it's able to manage itself really 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 well. And Dragon Ascent is actually pretty much broken because of this fashion because it's not uh, Dragon moves is not like that, but the fairy moves. No, it's a flying move, which means it kicks off everybody. It hurts a lot, and it can actually out. I, bleh, I can't really stress enough how restrictive this tier really got. And just going into it, the reason for it was because they actually state that right now the meta is quite restricted, so they needed something new. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you you kidding? Uh, <laughs> it's actually, like I said, it's kind of funny because it doesn't, those two goes, doesn't go hand in hand. Uh, they're definitely, I get they're trying to spice things up. If they said, you know, we are, we're feeling a bit riskier, I'm going to try this out, see if this works this year, I would have get it. I would have not liked it, but would have get it. But they're actually saying that due to the restriction and uh, obviously the same mods are being used, uh, that... <laughs> That they're gonna make these guys available to actually bring more to the speed tier, for example, because now they're most beating Garchomp speed tier because Garchomp speed tier is an issue with 102, I believe. That's not an issue, it really isn't. Um, well developed team can actually work around that. Venevin, but no, they actually have it as an example, and it's so bad. It's so 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 bad. Uh, <laughs> and look, like I said, I'm just really. <laughs> I was taking it out of context, but this is what I'm going for. For example, even the slowest reach Pokemon are only slightly outpaced by the relatively speedy Garchomp. Yeah, like that's relevant in a dialogue when you switch in a Rayquaza. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can only laugh about it, I really can. So, they have like the speed tiers here available. So, for example, Electro being the fastest monitor um, here in VGC. Now, I don't see Electro ever, but you know, alright, fair enough. Um, so, it's the fastest mod to get it with Mega Mewtwo Y! Oh, so it's the fastest mod then. Uh, around 200, it's Yolteon and Mega Mewtwo X. Huh, a regular Mewtwo, of course. Uh, 183, uh, I guess that's Raikou, speed tier, actually 115, so they don't they don't have all the speed tier, just gonna have that said. So Mega Mewtwo Y is definitely not the fastest one around, they are definitely faster Megas. Um, Rayquaza share the same kind of speed tier with uh, Raikou, now mind you guys, one Dragon Dance, GG. Uh, Lugia, Gengar, Polk, Yamuya, Kangaskhan, alright. Uh, Sir Silvertal, yeah. <laughs> Do you set those two guys together? Do that. All right. Um, Arcanine is as fast as Rayquaza, White Cure, and Black. I think it's at base 90 or anything like that. And uh, here comes the Primal form, and it's just the same as Lucario, which I believe is 85 base. Or is it 80? Never mind. Um, I was trying to. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that they tried to justify it at the same time. Yo, just look at this. <laughs> <laughs> make have electro compared to Mega Mewtwo Y. Look, I know they get in with the speeders, but at least make the Pokemon are comparing it to relevant, like relevant to competitive plays. Like I can easily see Roy Wright who could be mentioned and Jolteon and Kangaskhan. Yeah, that makes sense. Electrode, not so much. Uh, <laughs> it's just bad. Look, like I said, I know what they're going for, but this is not the right way. Obviously, I'm not a VGC player, which means that the things I'm gonna get back on me are obviously that people are feeling that this guy could work, or this guy could work. Um, I have to give them credit for this. Did you mention the perks of these legendaries? Because, let's face it, we haven't been using these for five years in the VGCs for obvious reasons. Um, now, who would use ho oh Eludia over the Hoenn mascots? I'm just wondering. Like, Kyogre and Groudon, they just solved that issue. They are they are definitely going to be chosen. I mean, Rayquaza is a no-brainer due to Delta Stream. Plus, Delta Stream helps other dragons, like Salamence. Wow, wait. 
Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do believe Delta 3 actually helps all the issues about flying. So I do believe <laughs> Tala Flame or could be a team member. All right, never mind that. Um, the Olga, pretty decent um, typing. Like, that's the only way, reason I can see for it. And that's Stealth Rocks. Obviously, that is not that usable in VGC, but still. Um, Palkia, no. Um, it's not that good. Giratina, no. It's it's defensive, I guess you could give it that, but it's it's really isn't worth it. And it's a slow mount. But yeah, they made, I will link this down below for you guys to read up on. Like I said there, I'm not going to bash too much about it because I'm like I said I'm not a player myself. But the reasons behind it is what perplexes me, and it's gonna perplex a lot of players, I do believe, because they're basically saying that we're now giving up on that skilled, or not skilled players, that would be just weird, but players that take the time by bringing mounts are not going to have that edge that they have before. Now you just have to have a Rayquaza, and you actually should do fair here, which makes this bad. It really, really does. Um, and obviously I've said too much about Mia Rayquaza, I do recognize that Mia Rayquaza is walled by a few things, but the sheer amount of power that Pokemon represent just... <sighs> it's not gonna... Um, it's not gonna fly with me. Um, the restriction is just... It's just too vast. Plus, I think we're actually gonna see QRM... Not B, but uh, QRM R. Uh, Retram combo, Fire and Dragon. And... I do kind of recognize that um, that combo is so mean-spirited and evil that I don't really see how this is going to end well. Like I said, there are restricted to two legendaries, but it's very obvious which two of those legendaries it's going to be. And that's not going to be Saigard, I can tell you that. Um, even, I guess, Shuvaltal should make some kind of sense. Uh, Cernius with, of course, Yamato Tree and Power Herb, yes. That's that's dangerous, but there's as far as it goes. Like there are a few mods that are definitely better than the others, and Luigi and Hoho and Giratina is not one of those either. In the regular form of Sekrom Reshiram, no, they're not gonna be used. Uh, I can see, like I said, Dialga. I can see Rayquaza. I can see Groudon and Kyogre. I can maybe see, like I said, the Curing form and Cernus and Zubatal. I can see those, but the rest are just. Um, while powerful, they're not as powerful. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, I'm pretty much just rambling and talking out of my ass right now. But, like I said, it perplexes me and I think it's weird. And don't know how to respond to it because I don't see their arguments being enough as a justification for just ruining what was a pretty... No, not even a balanced VDC. It was just... It was there. <laughs> like... We had the same teams in VGCs all the time. We had Lando, we had Garchomp, we had uh, Among Us. We had pretty much the same type of members. And um, I don't see any of those guys staying with these guys around. It just... It's over. As far as I know, this is not gonna... This is not gonna work. Uh, or it's gonna work, but it's gonna be a very, very... Like, if they were going for diversity, this is definitely not it. <laughs> Oh, dear lord. Alright, guys. I really want what you guys think. And like I said, share those thoughts. Even if you think I'm in the wrong, say that too. I mean, I'm, I really, really want to see if anybody can defend this uh, without mentioning that they are bringing balance because it's very obvious that they don't. Uh, so anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.